Hello. I made this video to show you the main techniques I'm using for making the Mexican chirrion. Uh, these are techniques which are very simple to be made and uh, they are used all over the process of the of the, making the thong. First, we're going to, uh, to take a look at this strand. This strand is made from Ixtle fibers, which is a kind of fiber which is gotten from plants similar to those used uh, for extracting tequila. And you will see that I'm uh, that I will twist them uh, in this direction, and you will see they compress. And if I do it on the other side, you will see uh, that they start coming coming apart. So this is very important. We are going to put this strand into the hook and I'm going to show you first how you should not make this type of work. We're going to twist the strand, in this case relative to my body, counterclockwise, and then we are going to, to go in this fashion too, counterclockwise too, and we'll see what happens. Counterclockwise we twist the strand and we go around. Counterclockwise once again and again and again and again. Now I want you to notice the way this starts to kink but if I let go you will see it unravels so that was not the way to make this twisting we are now going to do it the other way now take note of this strand on my left hand we are going to twist it counterclockwise and then we are going to bring it back clockwise against the other strand counterclockwise clockwise counterclockwise clockwise counterclockwise clockwise I'm going to continue twisting this but you will have to you will you perhaps will find out that strands may twist either counterclockwise or clockwise so if as in this case what we're doing is twisting the strand counterclockwise and then clockwise to lock it into the other strand when you get a strand which has to twist clockwise then to lock it into the other strand you're going to do it counterclockwise okay if I let go this one it won't unravel you can see that it stays in place and I want to show you something else we have seen that when you twist this strand in this case counterclockwise it compresses when we have two strands you're going to see that if we twist counterclockwise it starts to unwind so now the direction to to compress the fibers has changed from the individual strands from counterclockwise and when they are twisted together you will see you have to twist them on the other direction if we were to middle this again we would be twisting counterclockwise okay this is the end of the first video thank you